Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're here at Jones C. Edwards Stadium in Huntington, West Virginia. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Carries the ball for a nice game. They get four yards on the halfback option. That makes it seven and six. Second down and six. Ball on their own 29. Nice play fake. Now he's going to run and watch out. And down he goes at the 41. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Room around the corner. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. He's knocked out of bounds around the 38-yard line. Good, solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38. And he just gets rid of it. the 31. That's good, That's good for a gain of seven, seven yards. yards. That, that makes, makes it third, third and three. three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. It's a bad play overall by the offense. Quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Vanderbilt is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Hoosiers came into the game ranked six. After that performance, they're going to fall like Wiley Coyote off a cliff. So you went into this game thinking it was going to be an easy W? Better think again. We've got an upset brewing. The Boilermakers grabbed the win by five. Elsewhere, the Trojans came into the game ranked 11. And now they're waiting to see how far they'll fall. And for UCLA, they've won two straight. UCLA wins it 34-30. Wow, what an upset. I'm not sure anybody would have predicted that one. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line.
So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. back and he's got space across midfield tackle made at the 35 Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. He gets to about the 27-yard line. Marshall's not only looking to win this one, but they could set some records along the way. I mean, that's secondary to the real work. First of all, you want to win the football game. Second and two. Ball on the 27. Now he's scrambling. He's got it out to his tight end. And a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. converts the extra point. So a short three-play, 83-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. So our score, 7-3. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Fires out to his receiver. He's to the 40. And they make the stop at the 44-yard line. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. Davis gets the call again. Nice run to the left there. From the 39-yard line, it's third down. Close to making a big play. His safety is kicking himself for dropping that one. He steps out at the 36. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. 
Tackle at the 36 yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. So it's second and 10, ball on the 36-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's going to try and scramble. And they got him. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offensive worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. Marshall is up by four. Going deep, lays it out there. And he hauls it in deep downfield. Locked down at the 10-yard line. Personal foul. Basement. Defense. Concentration laps right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. First and goal from the four, looking for Pater. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Larry, Larry. Easy, easy. And he's tackled at the one. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened there. From the one-yard line, third down. Nothing gained on the play. Well, it's a good job here to just secure the football, but he just doesn't have enough speed to turn that into something big. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese? The Badgers were ranked 22nd. Now they'll be lucky to hold on to a spot, any spot, in the poll. It is all over, and once again, we find out there are no foregone conclusions in college football. Rutgers gets the W, 38-31. You can feel the shockwaves around this stadium. People can't believe that score. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Almost intercepted there. The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Hey, mark three, mark three. 10. Easy, easy, easy. Rally. Pass, 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 pass. Pass. He's taken down right around the 32 yard line. That's a game seven, seven on the play. Third down. Man left, man left. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. 
Johnson picks him up about three yards with the catch. Keaton, the return man. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. The quarterback leads his squad back out. They got three on their last possession. Marshall is up by a touchdown. He scrambled. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. From their own 35-yard line, second down. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's taken down at the 46-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's on the run. He hits him hard at the 46. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Now he tries to buy some time. Quick throw. They'll get the first down on that eight-yard completion. It's the protection up front that allowed this play to happen. The line controlled the rush, and it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw. From the 38-yard line, first down. After one, this game's still pretty close. 10-3, Marshall. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Marshall up seven points. He makes it to the 35-yard line. From the 35-yard line. Second down. Roger, Roger. He's scrambling. And down he goes to the 34-yard line. That's a deal of one on the play. That'll bring up third and six. They come out on an empty backfield. Tackle made right around the 16-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 16. Scrambling around. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Touchdown, Marshall! He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. Splits the uprights with the extra point. 
An eight play, 64 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the one. He makes it to the 18 yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Second and nine. Ball on their own 19. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop right around the 28-yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. Smith is waiting for the snap. Booming kick. Keaton fields at the 29. He's taken down at the 35. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Now he's scrambling. Throws it to the outside. This one is batted away. Brad, I thought the quarterback put the ball there where it could have been caught. The receiver's got to do a better job of fighting for the football. When that ball is up in the air and it's between a defender and a receiver, I think the receiver's got to show more effort and a willingness to fight for the football. The safety just knocked that ball away from him. Second and 10. Ball on their own 35. Lateral's back and he's got space. He's at the 40. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Rolling out to the right side. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. That makes it second and ten. From the thirty seven yard line, it's second down. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. He's going to try and scramble. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's at the 20. Steps out of bounds around the 20-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 20. Got a man, watch out here. The five, touchdown, thundering herd. And he converts the extra point. 
So that's a five play 65 yard drive and they come away with a touchdown. Brad I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance mixing the play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. So the score now 24 three. He's to the 20 at the 30 and he's tackled at the 33. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. He's tackled at the 49-yard line, and a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 49. Fires right side. Got his tailback. To the 20. To the 10. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. He found his halfback and turned it into a big game. This kid is a very versatile back. He can run the ball, he can make the catch, but what you don't notice is his blocking. This guy's just an all-around player. First down. Knocking on the door here. It's first and goal inside the five. Five wide. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. So a short three play, 67 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. So our score, 24-10. Vanderbilt gets set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. There he goes. He scores. What a play. Once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. This is a defensive coordinator's worst nightmare. Is having to defend a quarterback that has an ability to run the football. He's already scored twice in his first half, and the defensive coordinator needs to start accounting for him and his ability to run the football. And he hits the PAT. Marshall to kick. He got all of this one. Great kick. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He scrambles. And he is drilled at the 14. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Makes it out to about the 14-yard line. Calls it in as 
he's pushed out of bounds. Game of 21 on the board. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. Brought down around the 35-yard line. He's pushed out of bounds at the 44. That'll bring up 32. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Smith awaits the snap. Marshall's going to take their first time out of the hat. away and it's a booming punt. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 42. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Pitches, and he's got room. And he's tackled right around the 46-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. He's on the run. He's taken down at the 38-yard line. Marshall will take their second time out of the half. So the quarterback scrambles for about eight yards. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. Now he tries to buy some time. Here comes the pressure. Slides down to the ground. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's scrambling. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him on the first and goal. First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. At the one yard line. A one yard gain by the halfback. On the play. That brings him second and goal. Reset, 
Blue two. Blue four. Blue four. Tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 58-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Too easy, too easy. So at the end of the half, Marshall leads... 
Davis and Pollock, you should be here instead of Herb Street and myself. Second half just about ready to begin. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 25. They're not only the better football team on paper, as they've demonstrated today, they're the better team on the field today. And this offense has been outstanding. We're about set to start things up again. Marshall looking to build on his commanding lead here. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. At the 30. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Thundering Herd. converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. He's going to try and scramble. He gets sacked on the play. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Oh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. And they make the stop at the 45-yard line. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. One yard loss for the halfback. Second down and 11. Ball on the 44. Catches it. He's immediately tackled behind the line. down around the 43 yard line so the quarterback draw gets back to the line of scrimmage Keaton is back deep to return the punt he'll take it from the 18 and he has it on the corner He's taken down at the 26-yard line. 
We've seen this guy make some big plays for his team tonight. This is one of the most frustrating things for defense. It's just when you think you have him contained. He's athletic enough to get away from pressure, keep the play alive, and eventually make a big play. I think the thing that's really helped this quarterback play well today is he's had enough success throwing the ball downfield that it's really forced his secondary to stay back, and it's really opened up some running lanes as well. Pitches back. He's to the 40. Tackle made at the 45. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Marshall with a big advantage. Now he's scrambling. Going right, intercepted. That's a great tackle at the 41. Scrambled. He keeps it. Slides down. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. That's, That's good, good for a gain of eight yards. yards. First, First down. down. Second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. And he holds that one in. He's at the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Commodores. 
a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. That receiver was so wide open. As a quarterback, you just don't want to blow it. That's like having a wide open layup with nobody behind you, and you go up and you miss a layup. You don't want that to happen to you as a quarterback. So the quarterback did a nice job of staying in rhythm, making the easy throw and the touchdown for this wide receiver. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Once it all, going deep. Found his man. They'll bring him down right around the 32-yard line. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He gives a pump fake. Caught out in the open. And he's tackled at the 13. Marshall, up big. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 13. They come out in a five wide set. He's on the run. The quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. It's first down. They've got four cracks at it inside the five. It's first and goal. Touchdown, Marshall. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. From their own 36-yard line, first down. And here's a quick throw. Makes a grab and steps out right away. That makes it first and ten. Taken down at the 34. Gain of 11 on the play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34.
Looks to the back and can't connect. Takes a hand off, tackled for a loss. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's at the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Vanderbilt. Tacks on the extra point. So that's a six play, 75 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and burn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And down he goes at the 31 yard line. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense can continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Marshall comes to the line holding that commanding lead. Pumps once. In as he threw, and he completes it. Brought down at the 41-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 49. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's rolling left. Under heavy pressure. Fires quickly and it's picked off. You know, you might look at this and wonder if this is just a meaningless interception. But if you're the offensive coordinator and especially the quarterback, I don't care how big the lead is. You never want to throw the football to your opponent. That's a mistake by the quarterback, and he'll hear about it from his quarterback coach and his offensive coordinator. He's pushed out of bounds at the 48. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. From their own 48-yard line, first down. And down he goes, right around the 40. sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers third down now and they need to get it inside the 42 and he's hit immediately hit on the throw he caught it
And we reach the end of three, and this game is all but decided. Marshall's running away with it. Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. Smith is waiting for the snap. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Early in the fourth quarter, and this one we know is over. It's an opportunity for some subs to play on one side and maybe to play for pride on the other. Now he pitches it. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. He gets hit out of bounds around the 45-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45. Marshall comes to the line. They got a big advantage in this one. And they'll get him in the backfield. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper. A loss of one. That'll bring up second and 11. He's scrambling. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle around the 41 yard line. That's good enough for another Marshall. First and 10. Ball on the 41 yard line. And they make the stop around the 32-yard line. Number 12. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's at the 20. He's tackled around the 16-yard line. From the 16-yard line, it's first down. He's going to try and scramble. There's the strike complete. Touchdown, Thundering Herd. the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. Tackle made at the 33. Personal foul. Face, Face mask. Defense. Still first down. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Tackle made at the 42-yard line. Call it a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 42-yard line, first down. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. in a hurry. 
He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. From the 32-yard line, first down. Feeds it to the back. Running back picked up about eight on the draw. That makes it second and two. here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. They'll work the right side. Tries to get around the corner. That's good for a game. First down. Number four. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to turnovers. So the sack makes this a second and long. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. The defender had it and then dropped it. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Check 50, check 50. 20! And he throws right away. Incomplete. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the result. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Kicks away. And it's off the upright. No good. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. At the 30, to the 20, he finally goes down at the 15. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. Marshall looking to add to this big lead here. Now he tries to buy some time. Quick throw. They'll bring him down around the one yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He's in. Another touchdown. This offense has been driven by this young man with four touchdowns. We wondered if the linebackers were going to be able to slow him down today, and I guess that answer is pretty simple. No. And he adds the extra point. So a short three-play, 71-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He 
kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 22. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, I think the great thing that he's been able to do is spread the football around. It's not just been one receiver. And when you can find more receivers, it makes it much easier to move the ball down the field. And the thing that stands out when you look at this video is the way he's been able to put the ball right on the money. Really, where only his receivers can make the catch. Time after time, he's made the throw to allow his receivers to make the catch and get upfield. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. He scrambled, got the corner. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40, and he's tackled at the 44-yard line. That makes it first and 10. just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 40-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Mike 12. Mike 12. They can't hang with us. Check out, check out. Here they come, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Fourth and long here after the sack. Keaton is back deep to return the punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 34-yard line. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. Evans is in a quarterback. From their own 13-yard line, it's first down. Room around the corner. He's out to the 30. The 50. Inside the 30. And he's taken down at the 7. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line just under two minutes in the game gets it that quickly touchdown Marshall Marshall's star is shining as brightly as he ever has. And it's fun to watch a quarterback do all the preparation, all the work that he needs to be able to do to put himself in a position to mentally and physically have a shot to win the game for his team. And that's exactly what we just saw. And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And 
And he's tackled at the 24-yard line. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 26-yard line. He throws it. That's incomplete. Boy, the defender was just sitting back there waiting to make that big hit. He realized he couldn't get there for the interception, so he did the next best thing. He timed up his hit by the time the quarterback threw the football. As soon as the receiver touched the football, he made that big hit to be able to get the football away from the receiver. Slings it. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but it's a blowout and has been for most of the game. I think it's time for everybody to go home. And that was a really well-played series by the defense. Smith to punt. He's taken down at the 31. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. team. Clipping is the call, Still and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. Evans is in From their own 16-yard line, first down. Under a minute left. Here we go! He's taken down at the 26. to the 40. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 49. From their own 49-yard line, first down. The pitch, and he's got some room. And down he goes at about the 31. Yeah, I'm not shocked to see him have a chance to run the football. I remember being out of practice earlier this week, and one thing that became very clear is this wide receiver not only can make great plays in the passing game, but they're going to try to do what they can on reverses and different things to get him the football. And here's an example of what he can do and how explosive he can be. Pitch is back. He makes his way to about the 18. Marshall will have one timeout remaining. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. There's a touchdown that we really don't care about. This game is still well out of reach. He makes the PAT. A five-play, 83-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running runs. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. 
He's to the 20. At the 30. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. Well, late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time, and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. Brought down around the 31-yard line. That's a loss of two yards. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Marshall's staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.